Hey guys, today we are going to start looking at polynomials. We're going to answer the question, what are polynomials and their characteristics? So a polynomial is an algebraic expression that has many terms. They do not include negative exponents or division by a variable. For a polynomial to be in standard form, the terms must be written in alphabetical order, then written with descending exponents. So the first thing that we're going to do is practice writing these polynomials in standard form. So we're going to do alphabetical order, and then after we rearrange them in alphabetical order, we will write them with descending exponents. So let's look at number one. All of the terms of the variables have x's, so we don't have to worry about alphabetical order. We'll put the constant at the end. I basically just need to rearrange these with descending exponents. So negative 4x to the third will come first, since that's the highest exponent, and make sure that you include that negative sign with it. And then 3x squared would come next, and that's positive, so I'm going to put plus 3x squared and then plus x plus 1 is how you would write that polynomial in standard form. Okay, let's look at number two. I only have C's, so I don't really have to worry about the alphabetical order. I just know I'm going to put the constant at the end. So let's start with the highest exponent, which would be negative C to the third, and then plus 4C squared, and then that's a positive 12. Okay, now on number three, I have A, B, and AB, if I'm just looking at the variables. So the A will come first, and then alphabetically this AB term would come next, and then B at the end, and then the constant last. So I'm not even really looking at the exponents here because the alphabetical order is more important than the descending exponents. So we're gonna start with negative A to the fourth, and then negative, oh no, sorry, I need the other a term, term with the a to come next, which would be positive a squared b squared. And then minus b to the fifth, and then a positive 17 at the end. Okay, and number four, I have x, some xy terms, and y. So the x term by itself will come first if we're thinking about alphabetical order. So x to the sixth. And then I have x to the third y and negative x squared y. So I'm going to go off of the exponents with the x's and I'm going in descending order. So this x to the third y is going to come next. And then I will have minus x squared y to the fourth, and then positive 12 y to the fourth. Okay, so that is writing them in standard form. Now we are also going to classify polynomials. Basically, we are just going to name the polynomials so that when we're looking at more complicated expressions, we know what part we are talking about. So polynomials are classified by their degree and by their number of terms. So the degree is the highest exponent value. And then the number of terms is just how many terms are in that expression. And terms are separated by plus or minus signs. So let's start with the degree. So if we have a degree of zero, that means it's just a five or just a number. There's no variable, so that's a constant. If we have a degree of one, that means that I have that invisible one exponent, so it'd be something just like x that is linear. If I have a degree of two, that is quadratic, so something like x squared. If I have a degree of three, so something like x cubed, that is cubic. And then a degree of four is something like x to the fourth, that is quadratic. Ortic. So we will classify polynomials based on their highest exponent, and then we will also classify them based on the number of terms. So if you just have one term, something like 4x squared, that is a monomial. That prefix mono means one, so that makes sense. Then if you have something like 2x plus 1 or x squared plus x, where you have two terms, that is a binomial. Then if you have something with three terms, like x squared plus 2x plus 1, that is a trinomial. And then anything above that we will just call a polynomial. 
So something with like four terms would be a polynomial. The trinomial, binomial, and monomial are also considered polynomials. We just are a little bit more specific when we talk about them, but they still fall under the umbrella of polynomials. So now what we're going to do is we are going to classify this. We're going to talk about the degree and we are going to talk about the number of terms. So let's start with the degree. The highest exponent I see is just that 8x that has a degree of 1. We have that invisible 1 exponent. So this would be considered linear. Which makes sense if you graphed it, it would make a line. And then the number of terms, we have two terms here, 8x plus 1. So that means that this is a binomial. Okay, let's look at this next one. Let's start by classifying it by the degree. The highest exponent that I see is 2. So that means that this is a quadratic. And then I need to classify it by the number of terms. There are three terms, so that means that this is a trinomial. Okay, this next one, it's not in standard form, but the exponents are different, so I can't combine. So this is still a um, trinomial. Because we have three terms, I can't combine any of them. And then the degree, the highest exponent that I see is also three. So that means that this is cubic. Okay, then this last one, the degree is zero because there are no variables. So some, it would be like x to the zero or any variable to the zero because there are none. That's the same thing as one. So whenever we have zero degree, that is just a constant. If we have a number by itself, it is a constant. And then the number of terms there's just one, so it's considered a monomial.